Hello everyone, the East Empire here, and today I got a new video on Dust2. Um, this is all done in Faceit, and I will show you the highlights and the strats behind how we managed to get a good comeback. So the first thing is the knife round. We all go to A main, and I've managed to spot 3 CTs. My initial plan was to get boosted, and to knife at least one of them. That guy I never jumped, and I managed to fail. Nothing that guy, but we won the knife round. So we're going to go as CT, and the first round is quite interesting. Round 1 is the pistol round. My role is to play mid, and prevent anyone from catwalk having access to mid. I went to B. And there's presence in tunnels, so I thought one's gonna be behind me. Was correct. One headshot and a double headshot. As the lurker from the other team decides to go long, he got encountered with the CT trying to prevent him, and that actually worked. T's decided to go for a B split, but as you see, it's gonna go really wrongly. I decided to push up mid since no one's there. I've managed to miss a Rico and jumped. Managed to get one kill and one tag. That guy just jumps down and gives me two more kills. Then I rush up stairs and get the last guy. And that was the anti eco. Round 3 was a bad round for me. I went slightly too aggressive when it came to tunnels. That guy managed to spot me. I thought he never. This guy managed to read the info and kill me. Here's a voice chat from the other team. Pushing round one. Since I learned my mistake on being aggressive in mid with a bad flash, I decided just to play passive and hide. As you see here, here up shots, so there must be presence in mid. This guy comes up. I'm not going to push because it's too early to die with UMP. I managed to somehow get the guy in tunnels. There we go, really nice. Then I die to a really cool op play by the T side person. Boom, look at that man. As you see, this is his um, screen. He knows no one's mad. That's the op shots I hear. He sends over a flash to his teammate. That's the teammate I kill. As you see, he's not gonna push with the op. It's too early in the game to die to him up. He plays tunnels, gets a really good pick onto me, and a really other good flick into the guy in the window. Very nice. Round 11, we lost A site. 2 versus 2. Here we see the op in Goose. He doesn't see me. So I can manage to say, oh, one Goose. And boom. Look at that. Damage done to him. That guy managed to take out Goose. I caused a distraction. And we won that round. 3 versus 2. One guy dies, makes it a 2 versus 2. That guy lands a good shot on long. The last guy has an up. We know his chances is least likely, so we both push in. Sees his back. Boom. Gone. Bye bye. This guy was holding short. The CTs had 1 in 4, 1 scout, and they all had armor. Two T's pushed short, causing this guy to die. 
I push up, then die. Same. One mid. Could be, could be. Last A, could be. And as you see here, the CT is confused if it's going to be an A take or a B take, forcing her to save. I'm saving. Round 27 was actually a good mid control round for me. Since when the T's were on mid control, they had the control really slowly. So I can use that to go against them. That guy there I wanted to pick. And with good positioning, I managed to get the last guy. I'm not the last guy. And this is his foot. His friend's down. I beat him to the corner. He dies to that, gives the info to the other guy in CT spawn, and boom. Then that made us one the round. So if you want more of these type of good videos, let me know, and I'll, I'll do a better commentary. Probably never. <laughs>